Morning, fam. It's kind of gotten weird since the uh, uh, daylight savings time. And, well, I noticed that I used to come out at 6 o'clock and I'd have till 7. But I see the days are getting shorter here. But let's look at some uh, tourists. There's some kayakers down yeah, Kayaking around. I don't know. We won't. I don't know if they're going to get hit or not. You can kind of see that it's raining over there, but then watch as I, damn it, I don't know why. It's really raining over there. You can, I can smell the rain, and it rained pretty well today. Uh, looks like Patia reservoirs are back up to snuff, so uh, we shouldn't have any problems. And then a nice thing over there, a nice blue skies over there but uh, I got my uh, I got my motorcycle all squared away what is hold on okay that's better uh, I got my motorcycle all squared away I got my I, I got a new uh, <clears throat> what well, had a plastic seat on it before and I got a leather seat put on it and I have to tell you if I've never been I don't think I ever owned a motorcycle that did not have a plastic seat on it so I just assumed all plastic seats were hot as fuck they're especially hot here so I got the leather put on because my motorcycle has absolutely zero padding zero none and it was uncomfortable as could be. And sometimes, you know, I wrote and made a post about it. I don't want to get in trouble on YouTube for mentioning the family jewels. But um, so I waited for it to stretch out a little bit. And it got a little bit loose. And I took it over to the <gasps> upholstery shop. And the guy pulled it loose, tightened it back up. And it's uh, fantastic. If you've got a motorcycle, I highly recommend getting a leather seat. <clears throat> they're pretty cheap over here. They're probably a lot cheaper here than they are there, but damn, it's a lot better. So then we went over to the German place, and I'm telling you what, I've been to that German place I don't know how many times, four, five, six times, seven times maybe, and I just get the sour brine every time because it's absolutely perfect. Well, they were out today. I was like, oh, really? So I had the roll out and Oh my God, it was better than the Sauerbraten. And I'm a Rolladen freak myself. And I posted my recipe in that uh, thing for anybody who wants to see it. Because uh, I make, seriously, well, the, I mean, the uh, the trick to making that Rolladen is having the bacon and the, and the onions and the pickle relish and making the pickle relish good. And then... Uh, a little bit of applesauce sort of like it when it gets warm it turns into vinegar and it, it's just really good and you put some Guinness stout in there and it just it tastes fantastic I don't like drinking beer I don't drink alcohol or anything but anyway so that was all good we had a pretty good day Michael keeps turning turning up places that are like big houses to rent or whatever Lily likes I don't talk about this too much. I'll mention it briefly, but uh, Lily's parents live on the border. Like, uh, they can walk five minutes and be in Thailand, and but they live in Myanmar, technically. I mean, they, they can get out, walk like 100 feet, and they're back there in Thailand. That's how close the border is. <clears throat> and uh, Lily's mother sends uh, uh, videos of gunships coming in and doing what gunships do and it's bad it's bad it's as horrible as uh palestine and uh in myanmar lily's father is thai and her mom is from myanmar and uh the children have uh it's expected of a children to go and spend a month with their parents once a year no matter what and lily didn't go last year and uh I don't, she was planning on going in January, 
and uh, with all this uh, horror show going on in Myanmar right now, I don't want to go, and I don't think she wants to go either, because uh, her parents keep sending videos that are just bad. Gunships blowing people up. It's not, not good. And it's just made me all the more uh, militant about killing people. <clears throat> and I think now, I sent another postcard off to Joe Biden today for, you know, all the shit it's going to do. Uh, I know it won't, but at least I know that I'm trying to at least tell the bastard to uh, cease fire. And I'm sure that Joe Biden didn't spend his time uh, reading emails. But he might read a postcard or two. I don't know. Maybe somebody there will read it. Because uh, I am I am past sick of seeing this mass murderer plying his disgusting trade, BB Netanyahu. And I'm sick of uh, discovering that my friends are closeted uh, tribalist religious freaks who think that it's okay to kill children as long as they're Palestinian. And I was thinking a lot about that today. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, and this will seem completely discombobulated in a way. But uh, the other day I had some tea at uh, Terminal 21. And uh, it, it was made out of this honey that was just, I've never tasted honey like that before. It, it doesn't even taste like anything resembling honey. It's so radically different. It's sweet. It's, you know, has a consistency of honey, but it has such a radically different flavor. I can't describe it. And once you've had it, then you're like, oh, that's what people were talking about. And I was, when we were going to lunch with Michael today, um, I thought about that, you know, how nice it is that I got to, I was born a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant man in a racist country where I was the majority and how unfortunate it must be to be a brown skinned tan person with some melanin Arab person who was born in Gaza and you have no right to leave. You have no right to go anywhere. You don't have any right to return if you leave. You don't have any rights, any anything at all. And I was thinking about the simplicity of that, of how good that tea tastes with that uh, honey I've never tasted before. And then I got to finally taste something that's so bizarre and un, that I'm unaccustomed to wear and simply because of my birth. And we take to this too much for granted. And uh, that's the problem with all my former friends that I airlocked, shoved out the airlock, that were posting uh, I stand with Israel uh, signs. Because uh, this isn't turning out well. And it's not going to turn out well for Joe Biden. And the reason why I'm speaking up and saying something about it is because I don't want us driving off the fucking cliff so that we get another dose of that dipshit Trump. I don't want Joe. I don't want Joe. I want Gavin Newsom or anybody else because uh, this killing children thing is a problem with me. Saying you don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist and I am a Zionist is a problem with me. This old geriatric thinking, and I'm sorry for any of you people out there that are in the age group that I'm besmirching right now, but damn it. Uh, the world changes. It changes a lot faster, especially with technology. And uh, if you think that you can sit on your laurels and you're going to get kids uh, 35 or under, I call them kids. I'm 53. So uh, to me, a 35-year-old is a kid, and anybody younger is a kid too. But they're not going to show up and vote for this shit. They're not going to sit up and vote up uh while bombs made in the United States are being dropped on children and killing them. And I don't want to walk into a bunch of really tough choices and circumstances because 
Uh, Joe Biden wants, thinks that because he's 81 years old, he thinks that, you know, well, the world is the way that he thinks it is. It's not. The world isn't the way he thinks it is. And the people that he surrounded himself, uh, the world isn't like this. The people that are sitting over there gobbling up uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's balls and tickling him and doing whatever he can, uh, this is something that we have to, we've got a rabid dog on our prop. Uh, as a problem and we need to do the work to um, deal with it and uh, that's tough that's tough but I want you to understand something uh, and I've said this many times before uh, the United States election system is set up is, is Joe B Biden won by percentage points <clears throat> and I think I don't know. I, I'm betting it's more now. Uh, the last time I kept track of it, I, I remember anything was somebody said something like there was 22 million uh, Islamic Muslims in the United States, and I know where they're where they're concentrated at. They're concentrated in Michigan. There's a unusual concentration of them in Texas and New York City and Philadelphia. And uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and New York, I don't think Joe Biden's going to have any problem in New York, but uh, Michigan and Philadelphia and Pennsylvania are critically important. Uh, for Joe to get to uh, 270 electoral votes, and uh, I am not one of these peoples who are a fan of fuck around and find out. Yeah. I don't want to fuck around and find out. I want Joe to get his shit wired tight, and but he can't. He's 81 years old. He's set in his ways. He's not going to change, and he's already said something really terrible, which is, well, by the time the election rolls around, they'll, they'll forget about what's happening in Israel. That just shows how divorced uh, Joe Biden is from Muslims. Because they don't forget shit. They don't forget anything. And they don't just forgive and forget and then move on. That, that, that's not how that works. When you see dead children, they remember that shit. And I don't want to get into a situation where we're fighting for electoral votes because of this rat fucking dumb shit traitor, Trump, <clears throat> is going to be the nominee. And I don't know if you got the chance to enjoy any of the karmic circus that we got to see today but uh helena baba uh alina haba that woman i i don't know what law school she graduated but they should take her they they should degraduate her and strip her of her law license she is absolutely unhinged she says i didn't come here to be lectured by a, a judge excuse me bitch uh, that judge won elective office uh, he's in that courtroom because the people of New York elected him. You're going to be there whether you like it or not, or you can get your ass thrown out. And if you want to act like a dumb bitch in front of a judge, he's going to treat you like a dumb, dumb bitch. And you acted like a dumb bitch today, and uh, he addressed you accordingly. Helena Baba got up in court and said, he's here to give his testimony. And the judge said, no, he's not. He's here to answer questions and no other reason. He's already been found uh, guilty or he's been, been found to have a criminal organization. So now they're trying to assess the, how much the fine's going to be. And I'm telling you, just for me, I, I wrote that piece shortly before I went to bed last night. And it was uh, this disgorgement uh, is going to wreck Trump. Yeah because uh, he admitted on the stand that he was guilty, that he signed documents. And then this dumbass, Trump, the judge said, or the prosecutor asked him, and did you sign these papers? He said, I was too busy dealing with Russia and China. In December of 2021. Yeah. No, actually, you weren't. You weren't even president. You weren't dealing with anything. In, but, you know, Donnie 
his father had senile dementia, died of de dementia, and Trump used to make fun of his father who had senile dementia and would come out with a shoot on, and I think uh, Mary Trump told this story that his father came out and wasn't wearing any pants, but he had his shirt on or had a suit on, but he didn't have his pants on, and Trump thought this was the funniest fucking thing ever. <clears throat> And uh, he couldn't even remember when his presidency was. So that's not going to turn out well. That judge is going to clip him. And if he clips him just for the minimum, which is $250 million, it could be more. Uh, Trump doesn't have $250 million in cash on him. So they're going to have to sell that property. And that's going to be humiliating enough for them to do, uh, do that. But what's really disconcerting to me are these... Mm, imbeciles that still want to vote for the bastard, especially in all these swing states that were and listen, I don't put a whole lot of faith in polling I put very little faith but uh, Joe Biden isn't paying attention <clears throat> to people who uh, are not Zionist and don't support a right wing fascist apartheid state that Bibi Netanyahu has sadly turned Israel into uh, I support uh, the state of Israel. I want it to exist. I don't want a fascist apartheid state murdering <clears throat> Palestinian children uh, indiscriminately and uh, behaving like it has in the last month. That shit needs to stop immediately. And if Joe Biden doesn't stop it, he's going to have problems. And I don't want us to have problems. I don't think he can un... He, uh, just between you and me, he can't unfuck himself here. That's the cold hard math. He's not going to unfuck himself. Pennsylvania and Michigan are damn important states, and he didn't win them by much. And uh, what is what are they? Sixty electoral votes combined. Yeah, he's not going to get to two seventy without both of them. He needs both of them. So. Anyway, today is uh, my old Kentucky home's election day. And I wrote a piece. I know it was probably too long. You can go look at it about Daniel Cameron, who I fucking hate. He's an absolute idiot. And uh, hopefully he'll lose hard today. Uh, I have a feeling that Andy's going to win. Uh, but never underestimate the evil doing of re Republicans ever. So if Daniel Cameron wins, boy, that's going to really suck. But I don't think he's going to. I think Andy Bashir is going to hold on. And uh, people have a flavor of Daniel Cameron being a uh, servile little bitch to Mitch McConnell. And... I reminded everybody that when he appointed Barbara Whaley, who I know personally and do not like, uh, uh, Barbara Whaley didn't even present, didn't even ask for indictments against the murderers of Breonna Taylor. We don't even know for sure because the police would never rele release this thing, this information. But Breonna Taylor was unarmed. Kenny Walker had a gun supposedly discharged it. Well, we don't know about that yet because Kenny hasn't gotten a trial yet. He might, And I think that's going to happen soon and his, the neighbors are also suing the Louisville Police Department. We don't know who shot Miles Cosgrove in the ass. Uh, you get shot in the ass, it's because usually somebody shoots you from behind. So I'm guessing it was one of the other cops that shot him. And I sure want to know where Brett Hankinson was when he said, well, I'm going to go to the hospital, which from where he was, was directly east. And he turned around, according to GPS survey of his uh, police car, and he went to the southeast end of Louisville. Well, what in the hell is he doing in the south end? He was working in the east end of Louisville. That's where he's all, he was a St. Matthews Police Department. And he goes out to the south end. What the fuck's he going out to the south end when Cosgrove was sent to Baptist East? Okay, he was uh, maybe a mile and a half from Baptist East Hospital. 
and he turns around and goes to Pete. Well, the word the word is is that Brianna Taylor's former boyfriend was a marijuana dealer, and he apparently gave her ten thousand dollars to hide. And those cops went to go find the ten grand because that's ten grand to them. That money would never get turned in because Louisville co cops are the most corrupt in the fucking nation right now. And they're known for stealing, thieving, every kind of doing dirty, rotten thing you can think of. Because they're, they're the higher ups at the Louisville Metro Police Department right now. One of their biggest scams that they run that nobody's aware of because the police are real careful about how they commit these crimes, okay? If your car gets impounded in Louisville, you have to pay the tow truck company, they get a cut. They're going to get like 150 bucks out of that. And then uh, it, you have to pay the towing fee and the storage fee for each day that you did. Not every 24 hours, each day. So if it comes in and it's in there for 10 minutes, that counts as a day. So you're going to pay a minimum 250 to 300 dollars, okay? Well, that money in every other state for a storage lot or a tow yard gets put into the state coffers, okay? Not in Louisville. It goes to the Fraternal Order of Police. It goes to the quote unquote police retirement fund, okay? Police retirement fund. And that sounds like, you know, something good Christians would do, the police retirement fund. Well, the problem with that is, is that the police pension fund is fully funded by the taxpayers, okay? So the police retirement fund is controlled by the uh, Fraternal Order of Police in Kentucky. And they cover state police and local police or whatever. And uh, the entire state of Kentucky. And they work it together, and that money gets used at the discretion of whoever the senior members are at the Fraternal Order of Police. And believe me, if you can get one of these jobs on the Fraternal Order of Police, it's one of the best jobs you can have. Because you don't have to do shit all day except play golf and go out to eat on the credit card that the taxpayers have funded, well funded, because you get to use that as an expense account. And I had these fuckers come into Del Frisco's one time. Uh, it was like six or eight of them. And they came in, it was six of them. And they were ordering Chateau Lafitte, Rothschild, and Dom Perignon, which is like a $400 bottle of wine and a $100 bottle of champagne. And I liked it because when we had, it was eight, it had to be eight people because we had to, I remember Kathy uh, added the tip to it. So you had to be eight or more. And so she added the tip and uh, they didn't care. They didn't give a shit. They were sitting, they spent three or four, th almost $4,000 uh, on dinner because they were taking in that much cash from the tow lots. And how do you think that inspires the cops to tow your shit and to sell it? And here's another interesting thing, in case you don't know. If your car is on the lot for 21 days, is on a tow yard lot for 21 days, it belongs to the state. After three weeks, the cops get to keep your car and they can auction it. And they do. Your, your car, if your car is on, there on the 21st day, on the 22nd day, that you got a 100% chance of that car, uh, of your car being auctioned off and sold, even if, even if it's got a loan against it. And then you have to pay that shit off. And there's been, I mean, tons of people that have hired lawyers trying to get their cars out because they get a lot, they get, get arrested for some shit. And then the nicer the car you have, the more money you are on it, the more that they're, <laughs> the more they want to steal it. And um, it's it's a terrible fucking problem. Louisville is so corrupt. And But if you see that piece and you see that I sh shared it, I'm going to share it on all my pages here in a little bit. But uh, share it around because Facebook sucks. Uh, if you say anything critical of uh, uh, the war machine and um, malefactors doing bad shit like killing children or whatever, Facebook kinda puts you on the throttle. I'm on the throttle. But uh, I don't know what's going on with Facebook or if it's going to uh, fix itself. I don't give a fuck about Twitter because I would never get on Twitter to help a Nazi like Elon Musk. And uh, hopefully he gets a good case of ass cancer soon, I hope. But uh, 
anyway, you can go see that thing. It's got a picture of Daniel Cameron and uh, share that. I, I think it's in, it's interesting, I guess. But especially all my Kentucky folks, you know, if there's anybody else around there that you might know that's on the fence that's going to vote for that uh, scumbag David Cameron, go share that piece with them and rub it in their faces so they know who they're voting for. Because, uh, I mean, and I said in that piece that Daniel Cameron would fuck a snake while eating a baby on live TV if it would win him election because he's human fucking garbage. And, uh... I wouldn't be surprised if he wins. I hope Andy wins because Kentucky's completely fucked anyway because it's got a uh, super majority. It's so gerrymandered now. It's got Republicans override any veto they want, and Andy Bashir can't do much uh, because people in Kentucky are dumb as fuck, and they're religious as fuck, and they're going to fall in line and they're going to fight them, uh, uh, vote them for some good Republicans. So anyway... I hope that doesn't happen. I think Andy's going to win, though. There's all the squid boats. Oh, you can kind of see the green way over there. You can see a, I can see a bunch of them. Uh, I guess they do that for some reason that is unbeknownst to me. Wait, come on, here we go. Uh, no lights in the sanctuary today. And try to, that's the night from Thailand. Hope you all have a good day today. I'll see you all tomorrow.